What's good guys, it's Birdo, and I just got back in from picking up my bib. I signed up for another race, but I also signed up for another race. Let me fill you in on the first race. This one is the one that's coming up right now. Let me just grab my bib real quick. Here it is, my bib for the Ted Corbett 15K. This takes place in Central Park, it should be dope. I don't really have a time in mind for this. 15K is about 9.3 miles. I'm not sure about my strategy going into this, but ideally we'll be in like the low eights to the high sevens average pace per mile. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, so like 7.45 per mile, eight minute per mile, we'll see. I've been training, I've been training, I've been on it, but I also got a shirt, and this is all from the New York Road Runners Run Center, and that was my first time going over there. It was pretty dope. I didn't get any footage, but this is the back of the shirt, and this is the front of the shirt. And if you did not know, Ted Corbett is a pioneer. He's one of the co-founders and president of the New York Road Runners organization. He passed away some time ago, but he ran like crazy. Also a black man, breaking down boundaries, all of that good stuff, I love it. I'm here for it and I'm gonna run it. So 15K coming up on Saturday. That'll be my first race since the marathon. And after the New York City Marathon, I took like four days off. The first day, that Monday, I rested all day. The second day, I think I went for a walk or something like that. The third day, let me look at my computer. I have my calendar, hold on. You know, I'll write down everything. I'll write down everything, or I try to at least. So, marathon. The third day, I think it was kind of like the same. I just, you know, went for a walk or whatever, chilled. Uh, the Thursday, I didn't do anything. Just, you know, went out, had some food and all of that stuff. But that Friday, I went for a six mile run, an easy six mile run, easy effort. It's an easy effort. It's like you're not pushing the pace. So that's what I mean by easy. <laughs> and then the Saturday, I went to the gym and I think I, I did yoga. I did yoga one of these days too. I think it might've been a Wednesday. I don't know. I guess I didn't write that down. But then the day after the gym, I did another six miles. And then that Monday I did 13 mile. I was back on it, man. I didn't take too much time off. I plan on taking a week off, but apparently that didn't happen. I didn't have too many issues with my legs or anything like that. The only thing is that I felt like a little, I don't even know what you would call it, but like a little tingling sensation um, in my hamstring, my right hamstring, and possibly, oh, in my calf, my right calf as well. But I've been back on it when it comes to like weight training. I also started doing some upper body weight training as well, which has been interesting. I'm definitely not as strong as I used to be, but when I was running, when I was on it, on it, like this past block, I was doing no weight training when it comes to like upper body, no lifting like that. I would just do like leg stuff. So now I'm training for another marathon, which I will tell you what that marathon is in a minute. But first, let's make coffee, let's make a latte, because we now have a espresso, <laughs> espresso, espresso machine, a latte machine, which I've always wanted. So yeah, let's do that real quick. This feels like such a moody little setup, but yeah, let th let's get this thing warmed up real quick. We got the, the pure cocaina right there. <laughs> nah, this is really like crack, but anyway. Not speaking from experience, I'm just saying, like, the effects of it is crazy. We're gonna put our coffee grinds in there. And if you did not know, I used to work at a popular coffee chain that we are currently boycotting. <laughs> it was actually my first job. Look at the sun going away, what are you doing? What are you doing? But we didn't have to really do all of this. I was a fake barista. All right, we're gonna, actually, I'm gonna turn it on the light, okay? 
Since the, since the son wants to disrespect me, just lock that in there, do that. All right, this is kind of a difficult part, but because this cup is a little bit taller. All right, this is what we're doing. Change of plans. You know, sometimes you just gotta use your, your brain. So we do that, right? We're gonna do a double shot, all right? We're gonna do a little double shot action. Got our espresso, espresso, dopio espresso over here. Okay, you get attached here again. I'm gonna do some soy milk. I'm doing this with my left hand, so it looks awkward and feels awkward too. And ideally, you would not like wait this long with the shots just sitting in a in a glass because you know they're not the greatest when you sit that long. But whatever. All right, get out of here. You're not sponsored. And let me test this out real quick though. Hot water. Okay. All right, all right. Creating some foam at the top. There's your latte art. Ain't it gorgeous? Got my latte, let's take a sip, see how it is. Decent. Very decent. Oh, so foamy. Anyway, let me fill you in. All right, let's get serious. All right, so I signed up for another marathon. This is, when I get that serious, I have to take the hood off. I signed up for the LA Marathon. So the reason why I signed up for the LA Marathon is because it was always the second marathon that I wanted to run. So when I started running a lot in California and I wanted to run a New York City Marathon, I was just like, you know what, let's possibly do the LA Marathon. But I was just like, nah, but New York City still has to be the first one. So now that we have New York City out the way, not completely because I've got to do New York City again, but now that we did New York City as the first marathon, now we have to do LA as the second one. So that is March 17th. So I'm gonna be out there for a week. That's how I booked my ticket. I haven't booked my stay yet, but that's what I'm doing. And I'm excited for it. Apparently the elevation is comparable to New York City from what I've seen, I think 900 and 30-ish feet of elevation, I think, something like that. But I was watching like another YouTuber, I think it might have been Kofuzi, that said that the elevation was around like a thousand feet. I don't know, we'll see. But I'm doing more like hill work now, but I'm excited about this. I'm excited about this. You know, doing all the training that I need now and staying hydrated, eating, kind of the same. I'm gonna probably experiment with like some different nutrition, but I'm gonna do that like earlier rather than later because I don't wanna do that too close to the race, but I have time. And I'm considering doing my own shakeout run in LA. As you know, I do this series called Dash and Dine on Instagram and TikTok, where we run and get vegan food. So I'm considering doing a Dash and Dine shakeout run and see who else would join me out in LA. So it's gonna be dope. Another 26.2 miles. I was also considering running Chicago because it's flatter and I'm very curious 
as to how I would do when it comes to the time there. But I don't know. Some people are telling me to do it because like it's manageable. But like March, LA, Chicago, October, and then New York again in November, that's three marathons. And I wanna do some like 5Ks and 10Ks, 10 milers, milers, and half marathon. It's a lot. I'm also like wanting to get back to lifting a little bit more too. So like, we're gonna see how everything goes. Life is interesting. As long as I'm moving my body, I'm happy with it. As long as I'm staying active, then I'm happy with it. Whether it's walking, running, biking, uh, lifting, doing yoga. As long as I'm active, healthy, enjoying myself, yeah. I'm into it, whatever. <laughs> what kind of video is this? I'm just like rocking back and forth in this chair. Oh, and before I go, because I didn't mention this in the marathon video, the like recap, I did catch cramps. It wasn't that bad though. It was in my inner thigh on my left side around like mile 22, I think it was, 22, 23. Um, it wasn't that bad, but I was conscious of it. And then the same thing started happening on my left, I mean my right side, um, in my right inner thigh. And it wasn't terrible, but it was something that I knew I had to like be careful with. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I would appreciate it if you liked this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also leave me comments. I would appreciate it if you follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, follow me everywhere. Just don't follow me home. And that's it, the battery's about to die. Anyway, I'm gonna link everything down below and I'll catch you next time.